everyone. It is Sunday. So this week I thought, well, first I want to apologize for us not having that many videos up. It's kind of been like a really hectic week. Um, so I just kind of wanted to comment on both of them because I think they're really important. So I definitely liked both videos a lot, um, especially Steph's because it really does get better, you guys. And I remember when I was kind of like struggling with my like identity and the fact, like coming to terms with, yes, I am gay. Um, I spent a lot of nights like crying over the fact that I just, you know, being gay would be like another play, another label that would like outcast me more from everyone. And to this day, like my mom still, she's not really a huge supporter. Um, she like tells me all the time, well, you probably don't have a lot of friends because you're gay. And, and that hurts because it's not because I'm gay that I don't have friends. And it's not because you're gay that you're going to be outcast. And most of the time, it, yes, but just because people don't understand or they're ignorant. So don't let that affect you. It does hurt when you get tormented or bullied in school because of the fact that you're gay, but it does get better. And there are people who want to help you and who will listen to you and who will give you advice. You, it's just a matter of finding it and having someone you can lean on. If it's not your parents, you know, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's someone you don't know, like who's on a collab channel like us, or you know, just anyone, a counselor maybe, anyone who who you can talk to, you should really place some kind of trust in them for them to help you. Um, and that's kind of what happened with me too. Like, I really didn't want to, like, say I was gay, I was still struggling with it, but then I had a group of friends who really, like, welcomed me. And they didn't care that I was gay, and they just kind of took me in anyway. Um, which brings me to my second point about Toby's video, liking your friends. I was extremely infatuated with one of my friends who accepted me for being gay, and she, basically what happened was, you know, she listened to me and she gave me the time of day and she was very pretty and funny and, you know, everything that you would want in a girlfriend or what I wanted in a girlfriend. Um, and so then I just, you know, I just started liking her a lot more after that because she was giving me all this attention and yeah, yada yada. But, so, it just came down to the point where, like, my friends were like, do you, do you like her? And I was like, no, of course not, you know. I, I mean, I couldn't like somebody in my group of friends, um, in the group of, my first group of straight girls who accepted me for being gay and wasn't, you know, weirded out by it. So that was really hard. But when it came down to it, I really just did want the best for her, and I knew she didn't like me. And everybody, like, saw that it was really obvious, and apparently so did she. But she didn't really say anything about it, because she didn't want to make a big deal out of it or hurt my feelings. And she really just did want us to be friends. And I did too, and I really didn't want the best for her. And when I realized it, um, I didn't want to, like, mess up our friendship, um, or, like, get to the point where, like, I was being all awkward because I liked her, because I really did want her in my life, and I thought it was better to have her in my life so I can help her through her problems, rather than me just doing what I wanted and just, like, blowing her off because she didn't like me back. And so that was really hard to cope with, and we're still really good friends, so I guess it turned out for the best, but... If you like one of your friends, I guess it's better just to, like, see the situation or know, like, the person and see what she wants. It's hard to give advice on this topic because I just don't, I just don't know what to say because in my situation worked out well, but in others it might not. Um, but hopefully it does. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so I guess it's just better just to see where it goes. You know, talk to her about it if that's what you feel comfortable with. Um... It's better to lay it all out there and see what happens than keeping it all in because you never know. And even if she isn't gay or if she does turn out to be gay, just if she likes you as a person, then obviously then you'll, you'll end up in a relationship with her or even strengthen your friendship. But if she's not gay and she doesn't like you in that way, 
but if she still likes you as a friend, that's that's good too because then you still get to be, you know, with her as a friend and you still get to help her. Um, but I think that, I mean, that's kind of all I have on that. But I wanted to at least address that in my video because I've been through that and I know how it feels and it's really devastating um, to know that, you know, it's never going to happen between you two. Or if it does, I mean, but if it does, that's great. But in my case, it didn't. But we're still really good friends, and I like having her in my life. So I think that was still um, a kind of a win-win for a win for me, I guess, because I still have her in my life. And yeah, now I'm just rambling. So I'm just gonna end the video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.